Time for us to continue, Frenbo. I'm your Gibbs. We're a tree person. We actually have limbs now and a haircut. Love it. Need it. Let's go back. Oh, actually, oh, I don't have my pills. Huh. You, a fluffy kitty. Oh, do you like that? Ha ha ha. Here I am. Friend, my dear, you've got leaves in your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see. What a great... Itherstinian you become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I don't quite understand. Don't worry. Paloantris will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What's the stones? The land is full of things I don't understand. Ha ha ha! You haven't even got outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain, Cotterum. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys? And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great... Ether... Uh, have a good day. And good luck finding the great wizard. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, kitty? Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, excellent. Now we got our stuff back. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake next to your clothes. Uh, well, we have other things to do anyways. You have to find the wizard. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yes, the king who said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain. The Great Wizard lives there. Let's go. So what's in my purse? Okay. I want to sit on the crown. I want a big giant strawberry too. So it doesn't look like I can do much here. Oh, I love paper swirls. Those ones are huge. Whoa, who's this bug fella here? No, you can't get in. It's closed. What's behind the passageway? Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind the passageway. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it'll be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree? Yep, that's me. I got arms and legs and a head! That's very positive! <laughs> yes, but why is the library closer? Well, that's logical. As the sun goes around the second moon, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in the fall and winter. Oh. Oh, so you don't learn anything while well in the summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious. That's why everything looks so different here. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Oh, he won't let me get in there. Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Midnight. Oh, he has nothing interesting to say. Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Whoa, Mr. Midnight, where are you going? We need to hitch a ride. Hello? The flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. Oh, wow, I don't understand. This is the tree symbol, but I wonder what it says. Hello, sir. 
you a guard? Yes. Do you know where the mountain uh, Kutram is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm, the mountain Kutram is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? How? Uh, sorry, I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You can find a clockmaker. Maper? Clockmaker, and he'll explain things. I think he tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. Ah, uh, go down this way. Look at the fishies! This is interesting. I think that's the castle? A mountain? A boat. I don't know the words here. Oh, kitty cat, you're licking yourself! <laughs> so many fish and they seem to be in a hurry. What's the sign say? Seems to be the way to the market. Mountain a tree and a little water. The way to the castle and the library. Let's go to the market, I guess. Whoa, look at all these workers. Insect workers are so cool. Well, actually, they're tree workers. They look a little like mandrake roots, but they're bugs and stuff and such. Hello. Oh, look at the little toy. Ah, who is there? Who? Can you see me? Me, friend, can't you see me? Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Four eyes? I don't... Er, what are you selling? Only the best plobbles of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? They look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not the coconuts. <laughs> what the heck is he doing? Why is he collecting poo? Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. <laughs> Why are we even talking about this? But it's very yummy! But, but, and we love it here. And it makes everything grow and shine. <laughs> I have to get going now. Good luck with the plumbles, bye! <laughs> what? Whoa, look at this tall fella here. Actually, I don't know if it's female or male, but... Hello, I'm Fred. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pruder, and I'm molding this piece of iron. For what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. You can do all kinds of metallic stuff. Sure, if you have some ideas, we could talk about them. And padam, I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep going, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Good, thread and cloth to make stuff. There's a lot of fabric. What a tiny shop, and it smells really funny! <laughs> Greetings, are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. Out of curiosity, well, for what purpose do you use the fabric? Everyone is naked! <laughs> Well, whatever you need it for, we also have thread for making other things. I see. Mm, I have to go, miss. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> what? Whoa. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Baby roots. What a lovely stag with many clocks. Hello, what are you doing? Looking for a wizard. Huh. Okay, uh... Yes. Oh, I see, sir. Do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick-tock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. 
Ah, do you know where the Mount Kartrim is? Oh, it only exists in wintertime, otherwise it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter, the king said. The wizard would be at the mountain. You don't have to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality. That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to the left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Bye-bye. I want to talk to everyone. Hello, miss. I think you have a beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Yes, please. Uh, no. I'm on a mission to go home, and I want to be hungry when I get there. So, from the part... What part are you from? Are you from the outside island? No, I'm from... I'm human. Okay, fine. I want. I should have got the fruit. It feels kind of weird to me. Oh my gosh, cuckoo clock, enough. Hello, ladies. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read the... Uh, what is the language called? It's called Ithridish. Are you a tourist? Yes, I am. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome, and I hope you have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye-bye. Whoa, there's a slug here. What should we do? This guy's making a cool boat. A lot of wood. Maybe they will become a boat someday. Who's this fella here? Hello, little root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute, too. I'm Fred. Oh, I'm not Fred. I'm Zola, and I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. And I don't remember more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, it sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. Okay. What does this fella look like? He's got a big pile of gold here, it looks like. What are you doing? The war is about to start and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Whoop, I didn't mean to say goodbye. Whoa, it's a flying boat! Holy cow, these boats fly. Hello there. Good day, young one. Can I sit down? The war's about to start. I can't see when you're going to be this. Okay, fair enough. Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with a golden coin if we, if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Cabals and I'm the Volikaz. Black and white and shadows and light. It's a board game. Yes, the board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I'll give you a coin if you win. Hey, what do you say? What are the rules? First to place three of the same figures in the die. Oh, it's tic-tac-toe, everybody. Can we toss the machinery and see who begins? Are you in? Tic-tac-toe. Yes, let's go. Let's do this. I want to get into the tic-tac-toe, please. Well, let's play. There you go. Okay, so... I win! Oh, I have to keep playing? Ah, uh, sure. Oh, we tied that time. Uh... Huh. I 
I win! Ding, ding, ding. That's two gold coins. Ah, uh, shoot. I think we messed up here, uh, snail dude. Big time tie. Come on. I'm not sure I like going uh, first. Oh, beautiful. Thank you for falling into my trap. I win. How many times is that? Three or four? I lost track. Well, clearly we gotta play more. Oh, we tied again. Tacto. Oh man. Tie it again. Again, holy cow, game. Come on now. I win, finally. How many gold coins do I need? Holy cow. Oh wow, I just let him win. I fell into his my own trap. Oh boy. Uh, see I shouldn't have Oh no, there we go. Come on. Whoa, why was that what happened there? I got confused. Okay, so that time I won. How many times do we have to play this game? I want to escape. I am a master. How many gold coins did I get out of that? Examine. Five. Okay, five feels like a good number to me. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. Flying boats. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does this work? Think about them as floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's really so simple. Could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, uh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work with Ithrastendi. Oh, well, thank you. Have fun making your boats. Let's go find the big clock. Hello, clock. Sounds like it's broken. It's a very odd clock. What are the numbers for? Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, let's go see if we can get the clockmaker to fix the clock then. Hi there. Sir, I have a little problem. Uh, yes, I don't have any. The clock is broken. Big clock on the tree is broken. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. My life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Here's a gold coin. Oh, yes, but you have to offer me the job first, alright? Do it and be polite. 
Sir, Mr. Clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold, in the name of time, I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it.